Do you know how to use Excel 2016 to compare results in your data and make better decisions? Rod here. Welcome to Burn to Learn. We showed you how to compare maximum and minimum amounts in video number 12. You can find that video on our channel. But what if you need to quickly see not only the highest amount, but also the third or fifth highest amounts, or the smallest amount along with the next smallest and the one after that? Stay tuned and you'll learn how Excel's large and small functions can help you. Here we have a report on depreciation in a company. This report covers only the last 10 years, but it was extracted from a larger report covering 70 years of depreciation. Using this 10-year report, your job is to identify and analyze the years with the three highest depreciation amounts. Here's what you do. First, write an equal sign and the word large followed by an open parenthesis. Now select the range in column B where you want to obtain the amounts. Then type a comma followed by the number 1. Now type a close parenthesis and press enter and Excel gives you the largest amount. To get the second and third largest amounts, simply replace the number 1 with the number 2 and press enter. Then replace that number with the number 3 and press enter. Now you have identified the first, second, and third largest amounts. You got the results pretty fast, right? Now think of the time these steps would save if you were working with the full reports. Tell us below if you like this video. Now your job is to identify the three smallest depreciation amounts. Here's how to do that. First, write the N equal sign and the word small, followed by an open parenthesis. Now select the range in column C where you want to obtain the amounts. Then type a comma, followed by the number 1. Now type a close parenthesis and press enter, and Excel gives you the smallest amount. To get the second and third smallest amounts, Replace the number 1 with the number 2 and press enter. Then replace that number with the number 3 and press enter. Now you have identified the first, second, and third smallest amounts. If you liked this video, let us know below. Share it and hit the like button. You can also practice everything you've learned by clicking the practice button below. And please remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.